Hey guys, Chicago personal injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what Trump's criminal convictions can tell us about what we're up against in your injury case, right? So, um, <clears throat> basically, a lot of people don't know this, but I looked into it pretty carefully, and it turns out that the... You know, everybody knows that in a case, you want an impartial judge and an impartial prosecutor. Everybody knows that the judge is supposed to be impartial. Um, not many people realize that the prosecutor is supposed to be impartial, too. So, in other words, the lawyer on the other side in a criminal case isn't supposed to be gunning for you. And so, what that means is that in a case, in a criminal case, the judge has to be neutral. The judge can't be gunning for you. If the judge dislikes you or has a history of disliking you, they're supposed to recuse themselves, right? And we see that in civil cases all the time. So, for example, if a judge was a former friend or partner of my opponent at a trial, they have to recuse themselves. That means not only that it's the that they have an axe to grind against me or my client, or they prefer their former partner, it's not just that, it's the appearance of impropriety, okay? So not only do we have to avoid actually having bias against the injured person or in favor of the defense, but we can't even let the appearance be improper, right? And so in the Trump trial, the judge had donated to anti-Trump causes, was on the record of saying really bad things about Trump. Um, no matter how you feel about him, a judge who is having those statements and expressing those sentiments, at a minimum, there's an appearance of impropriety, an appearance that there's bias against Trump, the accused defendant. And uh, also the prosecutor, Criminal cases are a little bit different than civil cases. In a criminal case, the prosecutor is an arm of the state. And so the prosecutor is supposed to independently screen the case. And if they think that it's not really a case, they themselves should drop it. And in fact, prosecutors often will do that. Um, sometimes I think due to political pressure rather than whether they really think the person is guilty of a crime or not. And that's a shame, but they're not supposed to do it. Um, they're not supposed to dismiss charges because of who a person is or approve charges and prosecute a case because they don't like the person. Now in civil cases, it's a little bit different. Our opponent can despise you, despise me, but that makes the judge being impartial even more important. So why is this relevant to the, um, the Trump prosecution and why is it relevant to your personal injury case? Well, in the Trump trial, the judge was completely against Trump. The judge's daughter makes a living off, you know, damaging Trump. And the prosecutor was against Trump in a public way, so much so that even though it was in state court, they brought in a federal prosecutor from the Biden administration to do the prosecution in state criminal court. <clears throat> and we know how President Biden feels about Trump. It may be the same way that you feel about Trump. You may not like him very much. But this is why it's important. A lot of judges in civil cases started out doing defense. And a good judge, if they were partners with our opponent or something like that, they are supposed to come forward and say, I have a personal ax to grind. And even if I won't let that affect my ability to be impartial in your injury case, I am going to offer to recuse myself, meaning I'm going to step aside and let another judge look at it, even if I think I can be fair. The things I have said and the business relationships I've developed make it appear that I would be biased against the other side, and therefore another judge should hear the case. That is not what the judge did. 
in the Trump criminal prosecution. And the reason I bring it up is not all judges are aware how much their personal life experience introduce bias or can introduce bias, uh, the appearance, if not bias, it makes the entire system less credible because people looking at it say, well, wait a minute, those guys were law partners and he went that guy's way and he ruled against the other guys. They're friends. The court system bends over backwards or is supposed to, to make sure that sort of bias doesn't exist. Now, do I think judges recuse themselves all the time? No. Do I think they should do it more? Yes. Should the judge and prosecutor in the Trump criminal prosecution have recused themselves and disclosed their bias or apparent bias? They should have, and they should have offered to recuse themselves, but they didn't. The reason I bring it up is you need to have a lawyer on your side who is aware of these issues in case your case gets assigned out to a judge who may have a relationship with our opponent who's trying to beat us. It's human nature that if you're friends with someone or you know them and you like them, uh, and maybe you don't like, maybe, maybe it's a judge who doesn't like me because he doesn't like personal injury lawsuits. Maybe I beat him at arbitration or trial in the past. And he's, you know, trial lawyers are egotistical. They hate it when they lose. All of these things are to consider, need to be considered. And that's why it's important to have an experienced attorney who can analyze these sorts of issues in your injury case. So it really doesn't matter whether you love Trump or hate Trump. Um, it doesn't matter at all. It just occurred to me that this is a good topic because even in civil cases, a judge needs to be neutral. And not only that, even if there are reasons that might make it appear that they're not neutral, they still need to recuse themselves so that people who look at the trial results say that was fair and impartial. And that's the whole purpose of it because people can't lose faith in the legal system. If they lose faith in the legal system, it's bad news for everybody. So anyway, whether you love Trump or hate Trump, uh, I hope that information helps you. If I can be of assistance, give me a call anytime, night or day, 312. 500 4500. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you or anyone you know has been hurt in an accident and needs a lawyer or even just has questions, give me a call anytime, day or night at 312 500 4500. You can call me anytime, day or night, and the consultation is free. That's 312 500 4500. Or if you're not ready to talk to a lawyer, I made two great tools that really help people out that you can use for free on my website. The links are in the description. The first one is called the Case Cash Calculator, and it tells you what your case might be worth. The other is called the good case calculator, and it tells you whether you might have a good case or you might have a case with some challenges. The best part is that they're 100% free to use on my website, and it only takes you 20 seconds flat to answer seven multiple choice questions right off the top of your head. And then you get custom information about your particular injury situation fast and for free. So check them out. Links in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I release two new videos every week and this way you'll get notice of that. And if you have a question you'd like answered in a video, just leave a comment with your question in the comment section. Finally, if you enjoy my videos or if I've helped you in any way, I hope you'll consider doing me a favor. Injury law is a very competitive field and I like having a small independent firm so I can help people who need it. People really rely on Google reviews when deciding who to hire. So I hope you'll consider leaving me a five-star review on Google. It only takes a few seconds, but it's a favor to me that I would really appreciate. The link is in the description. You just go to that link, Click five stars, say a kind word, hit submit, and you're done. Once again, I hope you and your family are well, and if anyone you know needs an injury lawyer or has questions, please send them my way by calling 312-500-4500. Thanks again for watching. Take care.